And you might be thinking, well, if, what if I just had a bot? I can literally get anything that I want. Well, I had a bot when I was young and now when I first started, my mom literally made me write a business plan so she can front me $500 so I can buy the bot. And you know, that was the goal. I thought that was the key to all my problems, just buy the bot and I was gonna have everything I wanted. Well, I got that $500, I bought the bot. And to this day, I have never copped a single sneaker off of a bot and I'll tell you why. One, it is expensive. Not only was $500 just to buy me a cheap bot, and that was in 2015. In 2024, you're going to be looking around $2,000 for a cheap bot, and nobody really wants to pay that. On top of the fact that you're going to have to buy things called proxies, which you have to use on every single release, which can add up, which just takes away from either your profit or basically just you're paying resale at that point if you're looking just for a personal. And you're going to have to be buying servers. It's just a whole lot that goes into it. And honestly, it's not worth it unless you're planning to cop 20, 50, 100 pairs. And I don't think that's everybody's goal. And right now in this economy, that's not really the smart thing to do. Now, I won't say just neglect everything online because you can still try manually online just by going on the website at the right times. A lot of these websites gives you alerts right before they go into the queue. So just get in that queue early, have multiple tabs and have your friends and family work out for you. There's really not too much to give you advice on for manual because it's really just your internet speed and if the sneaker gods are messing with you or not. But my primary method is the in-store method. And honestly, I still use it to this day. And that's how I got literally majority of all of my shoes. Now, obviously the in-store method, again, is self-explanatory. You're gonna be going into these stores. We have a list of stores that can help. We have Shoe Palace, which they do in-store raffles every Tuesday. So if the shoe comes out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, etc., they're gonna have that raffle on Tuesday. It's in-store and it's only gonna be in Tuesday. They will not budge if you come in Monday, Wednesday, they do not care. But again, Shoe Palace, they, I think they're very generous on their raffles and you're not limited to one store. So if you, for example, go into one in one city and you go into another city, you have the possibility of winning at both stores, obviously increasing your chances. Next, we have the FLX stores, Champs, Foot Locker, Kids Foot Locker, et cetera. 